What's up guys? So um, I have, I hope you guys are doing well. I actually usually don't go live this time of day, um, but it's, it's pretty interesting because <clears throat> a lot of times when I go live, there's like four or 500 people online at the same time. Um, you can see like at the top when you go live and it says like how many of your Facebook friends are online at the moment. Uh, usually it's like four or 500 are live, you know, like online, like scrolling and whatever. But with this virus and um, with so many people who are working from home or I know that a lot of you guys have um, been either temporarily or indefinitely laid off at the moment. Um, it's actually been pretty interesting because that number is almost tripled of how many people are online right now. It said almost 1,300 people, um, over 1,000 people. Are online watching and so I thought it kind of doesn't matter nowadays of like what time you normally go live and stuff like like all the stuff that we have been taught has kind of gone out the window as far as as far as that so I just felt inspired it's kind of one of those things that I'm trying to do more of is is act on a prompting um, and if you are on here live just comment something let me know that you're here say hi hey Cindy um, if you happen to be catching me on replay just tap replay I always come back to my videos and say hello to you guys and comment back and chat and have conversations. Um, so a couple of things, I wanted to go live right now because I just actually had a team Zoom with the president of my network marketing company and he said something that was really powerful. We were chatting back and forth about it. Um, and then immediately after the Zoom, I got on the phone with a team member and we started having that same kind of conversation. I'm like, okay, God, I get it. <laughs> This is something that I need to share with more people because um, it's kind of the same, the same vein of thought are crossing a lot of people's minds right now. Hey, Jolene. Um, so uh, go ahead and hit the share button. Let me know if you do share it. Just type share it in the comments below if you share it because I do want to share with you guys, you know, I... Uh, a lot of y'all know me because of network marketing or you know me because of direct sales um, or my experience in that field. But here's what I want to say. Um, I'm actually sharing it into a couple groups. So if you guys hit the share button, let me know. Here's what I know is that in talking to a lot of you guys about the stuff that's going on right now, um, a lot of y'all are stressed. A lot of y'all who are in network marketing, direct sales, entrepreneurs, you're stressed out. Um, you feel a sense of overwhelm. You maybe feel in a sense of anxiety. Um, here's one of the things that the president of our company just shared with us, which I love. It's like the heartbeat of this company is about serving. It's about purpose, not profit. It's about impact, not income. And there's a lot of really great products out there. There's a lot of great products out there. I'm a fan of the direct sales industry, the whole network marketing industry itself. There's very, very, very few companies who operate from such a high level of purpose, helping other people, um, something that anybody can do and, and with a heart that is literally about community. So one of the things that led me to do this video, this prompting that I had, um, I truly believe it was like a download from God. And sometimes it's like, you know, when you get those downloads, you're kind of like, no, you know, I don't have my hair done or no, I got things to do. Right. And you're kind of like blowing it off. Right. I have been trying so hard lately to act on those promptings, whether it's a random act of kindness or going live when I feel like somebody needs to hear some things. Like, I don't know who this message is for, truly. But I hit the go live button because someone out there needs this. One of you, <laughs> I just know it, um, are in network marketing or direct sales, totally feeling a sense of overwhelm, totally feeling like maybe even anxiety of, do I share my business? Do I share my product? What about sharing it and I feel really icky? How do I prospect somebody? How do I still grow my business online without putting it in people's faces, without making other people feel bad or like I'm being inauthentic, right? Here's what I wanna share with you guys. Um, you have to keep going, but I wanna give you some tips on how to keep going in the whole, like where you feel like this whole world is kinda of like spinning <laughs> off its axis and out of control and you're probably hearing, you know, from one side, maybe people in your company, they're like, go get it, go make tons of money, blah, blah, blah. like all that, you know, they're like capitalize on this situation and probably, and if you're aligned with me, that probably does not feel good to you. I tend to attract the type of people who, they're not driven by, let's go make a ton of money and get rich off this situation. Like that is, like there's, I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying there's people out there who do that. 
I tend to align most with people who are like, who can we help? Maybe, and let me just put this thought into your mind, maybe the purpose of your business and the influence that you have built right now, maybe the purpose of that is bigger than a sale. Maybe the purpose of all of this stuff that you're doing right now and the group that you're in right now or the community or why are you watching this video right now, maybe the purpose for you right now is to spread hope. Maybe it's for positivity. Thank you for sharing, Jolene. Maybe your message is not really the message that you've been preaching, right? So here's what I mean by that. I, on this Zoom just now with our president, I, um, president of my company, not president of the United States, um, I mentioned, I said, you know, one of the things I'm really proud of is that this whole community, like from the top all the way down to the bottom, is literally all about taking it out of your head and into your heart. Who can I help? Um, it is about, like I said, purpose, not profit, impact over income. And he was like, that is so spot on because our sales are skyrocketing. Um, but it is, that's not the focus. It's crazy. It's you guys. And here's the thing. If you focus on sales and strategy and how to do this and, you know, promoting a product and let's get this out super fast. And, oh, we're going to, we're going to move this group of people over here. We're going to make a ton of money and this. Okay. That's a strategy, but in the long term game, that will not build a business that's going to be stable. What's gonna build a business that's stable is coming at it from a sense of almost doing the opposite of where what everyone else right now is doing. That is something I'd really like to see a lot more people do, is that when everyone is zigging, you zag, right? It's that whole phrase. So while other people are out there like super gung-ho and buy this course and buy this product and this new thing and we're gonna capitalize on this situation and all of that, what if, what if you did something different than the masses? What if your main message were coming from a place of how can I serve this person? What if all they need is a friend? What if all they need is just somebody who listens, somebody who um, can be a listening ear without judgment? What if they just need a community that's not full of chaos and drama and gossiping and backbiting? What if all the person needs that's, you know, you might think, well, this person's on my mind and I can't stop thinking about this person. So that must mean I need to prospect them and I need to get them on my product and they need to join my team and buy my thing and blah, blah, all this kind of stuff. What if that person has been on your heart? Because right now in the situation that we're in with all of this craziness and all of this chaos and all this stuff, what if the purpose that they've been on your mind so much is because God knows that that person needs you in this moment because you are that one bright light in a very dark space for them. So a lot of you guys know me, I'm like this optimist thinker and I kind of like, I, I, got very, I get very romantic about the way that I think about the world and like kumbaya and unicorns and rainbows. Okay, I know that, I'm aware. <laughs> but what if the thing is not the thing? What if our purpose, like the reason, y'all, think about this. How many people are online right now? There are so many people who are online scrolling social media and us as entrepreneurs, us as network marketers, I feel like we have a responsibility. We are the influencers of this space. A lot of people who are online right now are looking at the news and they're looking at the bad reports and then they're looking at, you know, some amateur MLM companies who tell their people this is the right way to do things. Oh, go push this product. You're going to get good sales because of what's going on. Oh, go push the business opportunity because people are getting laid off. You guys, that is not what people need most right now. Yes, it's what they need, but what they need most is your heart. What they need most is your encouragement, your hope, your positivity, you being a bright light. That's what they need the most. Do they need your product and your service and the money and the bonus? Of course, sure, fine, okay? But what's gonna get them in with you is connecting with you, is knowing that they can trust you. Knowing, liking, and trusting will always and forever will be <laughs> the foundation of building any business. It's not your sale, it's not your ingredients stack, it's not your comp plan, it's not this bonus, it's not who is this and who influences who and who's, it's none of that. 
What is going to actually build your business is the foundation that you lay right now. And trust me, right now, the foundation is going to come with a relationship that you're building. Okay, so like when you see an opportunity, think it all the way through of yes, it might be a good opportunity. Yes, the timing may be right of ooh, this product is just this could this could help this situation and do this business. Yeah, your brain, your head might think of an opportunity because you want to share and you think that you're helping others by sharing because you're thinking. You're up here in your head. You're calculating commissions. <laughs> you're coming from it from a place of oh, I could sell more of this specific product because it has this ingredient and this is going to help because their immune systems and what, like our business plan or whatever, right? I want to challenge you guys and this is where you're going to cross that bridge from going from amateur network marketing to really a professional. A professional is confident. You know that you know that you know what you got. <laughs> You don't have to rely on hype. You don't have to rely on timing. You don't have to rely on any of that nonsense. That's, that's amateur stuff. That's stuff that's going to be very short lived, flash in the pan, firework, like they sizzle and then they fail, right? That's like the whole get in early kind of, that's, that's just, that's a firework. I call it, it's just a firework kind of plan, right? You don't want your business to have a firework kind of mentality where it's going to shoot up really fast, make a big bright light and then fizzle. And it's like, who was that? Nobody. I don't even remember who that was. You want to build your business like a steady rocket, just slow, kind of like a cruise ship, <laughs> okay? Just cruising along, going the right path, like following the direction that you want to be a part of. Sometimes it may feel slower. It will. Sometimes, though, the biggest impacts come from the slowest process. Think of the Grand Canyon. Think of hiking up Mount Everest. Do people start hiking up Mount Everest and they're like, oh, you know what? It's a Tuesday. I think I'll just climb that Mount Everest today. And then they go to Mount, they go to the base and they're like, yeah, you know, by dinner time, that, that sounds good. I can climb Mount Everest. Let's just do this. No, it's a process and it's a long and tedious and strenuous process. It's going to have a lot of ups and downs. You're going to slide back down. You're going to freeze to death or think you're going to freeze to death. You're literally going to have people fall out behind you. You're gonna have people in front of you who are like, wow, they're amazing, and they conk out. They don't have their endurance, right? The Grand Canyon, it's a slow process, little bit at a time, over process, over time. Why? Because that's long lasting, it's forever. It's a process that's worth following. Whereas if you do something so super quick just to take advantage of a situation, you may make a quick buck. You may get a group of people and who are like hyping it up and super excited, but you guys, that's a really dangerous way of building your business. So what I wanna share with you, the, the message that I want to share with you in this video is if you're overwhelmed by all of the, what do I do, how do I grow my business, how do I take advantage of this, and how do I market this product and promote my comp plan, and I gotta get these people, you guys, if you have the feeling of overwhelm right now, if you have the feeling of anxiety, Get out of your head, get into your heart, and you have to check yourself when it comes to that. You have to be really, really honest with yourself and think, what am I actually trying to accomplish here? Am I trying to grow my business in this time? Or am I really trying to help and connect and build relationships and build rapport and build trust and lay a thick foundation that is unshakable, unmovable? built on confidence, built on friendliness, built on relationships, right? You have to get out of your head and you have to get into your heart. That is where a long-term business will be built. That is where people will stay a long time. That is where you're gonna have literally a tribe, a tribe so strong that it's like unshakable. It doesn't matter what comes. It doesn't matter what the outside forces do. Um, it's literally a tribe. So think of like, like a circle, right? It's just, it's, it might bend, but it won't break. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, the first step is to check what are your intentions? Are you trying to build a business, which is not wrong, or are you coming from a place of a servant-led heart? Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing that I really, this is where I really want you guys to share, especially share it with your teams, and let me know if you share it so I can say thank you. Hey, Barbara, is 
the feeling of overwhelm, the feeling of anxiety, the feeling of chaos, the feeling of just um, fear, um, just desperation, sadness, anger, those are real feelings. Those, those are feelings that you're allowed to have. <laughs> so I feel like sometimes, especially women, especially who women who have like an empath tendency, it's like we see all this stuff and we feel and we take on other people's stresses. Um, several friends of mine have gotten laid off, whether it's temporarily, their hours are cut back or indefinitely and, and they're struggling and they're really stressed. They're, they're trying to build their business, but you know, you gotta, you gotta work your job in, the, in you know, while you're building your business, right? And so for some people right now, if they're not in a position where they they don't have to work full time anymore, they are in a position of stress. What I want to say to you is if, if that's you is allow yourself to feel those feel, feelings. Allow yourself. Don't feel guilty for feeling overwhelmed. Like just because you're in network marketing, just because you're an entrepreneur, just because you promote a product that's supposed to help other people feel better or whatever. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have good days all the time. Feel your feelings. It's okay. But here's a message. <laughs> Don't let it simmer so long. Don't let it crack the foundation that you've laid. Don't let it tarnish who you really are. Some people, good hearted people do really stupid things when they're afraid when they're angry, when they're acting out of like scarcity and lack, some really good people make really bad decisions. And so I want to help just try to protect you from acting out in fear or desperation or overwhelm. You will be okay. You will be okay. I don't know if you're a believer. I am. There is literally a verse in the Bible that says, basically, I am for you, not against you. I will protect you no matter what kind of stuff is thrown at you, no matter what's coming from the sky, no matter what's coming up from the ground, no matter what's coming from other people's mouths. I got you. I got your back. It's all good. It will work out. But you have to make sure that you're doing the thing to ensure that that happens. You, if you're overwhelmed and if you're anxious, feel that. But turn it into gratitude. What can I be grateful for? What can I control right now? What are the things that I can do right at this very moment? Is that making sense? Because if you let yourself act out of scarcity and out of fear and out of overwhelm and out of anxiety and all of those things, you're going to wind up doing something that you really will look back on later. I promise you when the dust settles, whatever's not just talking about this coronavirus stuff, but if you're in a situation right now where it feels like God, from every freaking direction, this stuff is just pounding at you and hitting you and slapping you in the face and it's just one freaking thing after another. If you act out on that without really thinking it through, just kind of taking a moment for yourself, praying about it if you pray, meditate on it if you meditate, get into a quiet space and really think it through what are the things that you want. Stop letting outside people get into your head and tell you what it is that you have to do other people's expectations, all of that kind of stuff. That is out, that is added overwhelm. It's added anxiety. It's added stress. That will make you sick, y'all. It will make you sick. It's going to make you not being able to sleep. It's going to lower your immune system. Y'all, hello. Like you need a higher immune system now more than ever, which means you better, like it needs to be like the armor of God around you in terms of protecting yourself from stress and drama and gossip and backstabbing. Whatever you have to do to remove yourself from that, do it. That is high priority better than any kind of supplement, better than any kind of food. Literally, get rid of all of that outside toxic stuff, okay? But you have to allow yourself to feel those feelings. You have to. But don't take action on those outside feelings unless you know that you know that is of sound mind, <laughs> that you really, really should and need to take action, okay? But do it for the right reasons. Don't do it what you can gain. Do it for what you can give. That's what I hope that you guys take out of this is just, just try not to act out of a sense of desperation and fear, right? Because I just, I'm talking to a lot of you guys and so many of y'all, from like multiple different companies. It's just like, I get messages and I love your messages. I would love for you guys to send me just how your thoughts and what you're feeling and all of that. Cause I am, I pride myself on being one of those people like you can actually just talk to, um, 
and just literally we'll just brainstorm together and and I'll give I'll help I'll be a listening ear if nothing else I'll be a listening ear while you cry <laughs> or freak out or whatever because I just want you to feel like you have somebody that you can do that with um, a safe place and a safe person who's not gonna judge and who's not gonna add to it and all of that kind of stuff and I just really want us to create a ripple effect. If you're watching this, you're seeing this for a reason. Literally, you're seeing this for a reason. There's some kind of, I'm literally acting on a prompting. I'm just here in my old ratty t-shirt. Like I'm, I'm acting on a prompting to come on here. So it clearly that means if I'm obeying and doing that out of a prompting, someone on here needs to hear that. And if that's you, if you're on here and you're hearing it, even if you're on a replay, I want you to take this and, and do it for someone else. Just reach out and be a friend and create a community, create a conversation and just be a positive light in a lot of darkness right now, okay? If nothing else, if your business doesn't get another sale, if you don't get another recruit right now out of the conversation, if nothing else, you have created a relationship that has given someone hope. You've created a conversation that maybe, maybe has taken a load off of someone's shoulders and telling them, you got this, it's okay, eventually, the world will get rightfully back on its axis. Eventually, you're gonna be able to turn on the news and just watch something else besides updates on the virus or the stock market. Eventually, stadiums for sports, concerts, they're gonna be sold out. Eventually, we're gonna be able to like hug each other again, okay, instead of like virtual. Eventually, it will all be back to normal. It will. But what are you gonna have on the other side of it? You're probably, if you do this right, if you are a friend first, if you get out of your head and you get into your heart, eventually you're going to come out on the other side of this with a stronger and deeper and more meaningful relationship with a lot of people in your community, your existing team that you already have. I cannot even tell you how much my team chats are blowing up right now. Like we need each other. We need each other now more than ever, more than anything else. We need each other. We need each other's ears to be open to listen. We need each other to speak kind words to each other. We need to be uplifting. We need to be encouraging. You need to empower each other. And most of all, we need each other to just be there when one of us is having like a mental breakdown and for us to just say to each other, you know what? We got this. It's fine. We can do this. It's not always about the business in business, okay? All right, I love you guys. I don't know who in the world need to hear this, but when God tells me to do something, I'm trying to be a better person and just saying, okay, I'll do this. I'll fine, fine, I'll do it. I'll go live. <laughs> okay, so I love you guys. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Carla. Hey, Barbara. You guys, if you hit the share button, let me know. I feel like it's a good message just to spread out. Let's create a ripple effect of positivity. Um, the main thing sometimes is not necessarily the main thing. Get out of your head, get into your heart. Let's do this the right way and let's be a ripple effect and pay it forward to someone else who maybe just needs a friend. Maybe he just needs a listening ear. So I appreciate you guys. I love you and I hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye, you guys. Love ya.